Well, good morning to uh, my green Italian friends from the European Parliament here in Brussels. Uh, I would start by saying that I'm getting impatient. I'm getting impatient because, well, we need you. We need you to be successful in Italy. And, well, we know that the last few years uh, the Greens have not been very much on the radar screen in Italy. And I know that you are working hard on that. But look at the latest municipal election. So we cannot say that we are uh, on the radar screen of the ordinary Italian citizen. And I mean, look at these times, look at the financial, economic, ecological, social crisis. Look also at the crisis of, I would say, the values, which is, of course, uh, very much present in Italy. This is our time. How is it possible that we Greens are not more powerful, more visible, more, uh, uh, have more punching power in, uh, in your country? This is really something that still puzzles me. So I would, uh, I would say that now is the time really to get our act together, to get together first, and I know that's uh, what you are trying to do, uh, but also starting to look outside. I mean, of course, there's time for building up, for being inward focused, but there will be the time to become outward focused and to address the Italian citizen. More than half of your voters basically stay at home. I think that this is our biggest potential. Those Italians who are getting disgusted by the current politics, and of course, no need to, uh, to uh, elaborate on the Ber Berlusconi story, uh, but I would elaborate on the Partito Democratico story. I mean, is this a credible alternative? I don't believe so. And so we have ample space to materialize a strong, credible, independent green alternative. And this is what makes me happy about the Constituente Ecologista. I'm really happy that this is basically what you try to achieve. And we know it's difficult. We know that we have to overcome div uh, uh, divisions. We have to overcome uh, what is a lack of credibility on the public scene. But also, we have the resources to manage those, ch those challenges. And again, we do count on you, not just from Brussels, you know, but it's a matter of us Greens really influencing the course of events across Europe. And, you know, we can be very successful in Germany, we can be very successful in a, in a number of Benelux or, or Scandinavian countries. We will not carry the weight that we need to carry without you being success, successful in Italy, our friends being successful in Spain, in Poland and all over the place. We cannot just be credible in a few countries. You know, uh, to, to draw a parallel, Stalin spoke about uh, socialism in only one country. We are the country of Stalin on many counts, but we are saying we cannot be successful as Greens in just one country. We need to be successful all over the place. So I would send you the strongest, warmest encouragement message from, uh, from Brussels. Of course, we are getting impatient, but uh, we, we know that you have the, the means to be successful. Well, I know that my co-spokesperson, Monica, uh, is very dedicated to her home country, but be assured that this is not just her. It is us European Greens who want uh, to help you becoming uh, successful in Italy. So good luck in your endeavor and looking forward to meet uh, with you again in Rome as soon as possible. Thank you. Ciao.